Hi all, you fans of NVIDIA and the NVIDIA haters. That's the new player comes up. Uh, the new NVIDIA cards will come at the end of the summer. And uh, this is a kind of preview for that. I already uh, digged the information, I have it for you. Now we talk about what's coming up and what is it and how much it costs. Okay, um, the first thing that comes up is um, ATI cards. But we are not going to talk about them right now because when Nvidia comes up, of course, after ATI, it would outperform it. So don't be uh, foolish of off by ATI, you know. Um, what I want to say is um, the new card would have uh, GT200 core. About GT200 core, uh, they do estimate uh, that the single GT200 uh, would be faster than two G92 cores. So a single uh, GeForce 280 that we expect to come up, uh, I guess in uh, August, far as I heard. Uh, would outperform two 8800 GTs or one uh, uh, 9800 GX2. Oh, right here we see uh, two uh, previous cards GeForce 9800 GTX and GeForce 9800 GX2. So, and the new GeForce. GTX 280 and GeForce GTX 260. We, see, we do see the high price of GeForce GTX 280, which um, would be for $649. Uh, about that. So, but it would go down to 600 I expect, after months. But uh, it's not that much. Uh, assume that uh, one GTX 280 would uh, would be twice faster than uh, 9800 GX2. So that price is not bad at all. There would be a new middle player, middle class. It would be something like instead of uh, 8800 GT, like the new 8800 GT, it would be the GeForce. Uh, G, uh, G, GTX 260. Okay, let's look at the specifications. The new GT200 core would have uh, 576 millimeters, uh, so it would be a kind of smaller. It would be fi it would have a 512 bit memory bandwidth and uh, 141. 7 gigabytes per second uh, would push so high and uh, this is the standard the standard clocked uh, and the GPU clock would be 600, 600 megahertz and uh, it would have uh, 1024 megabytes of uh, GDDR3 so it is, there is no GDDR4 yet so they decided that GDDR3 would be better so unlike ATI would come up with GDDR5 this summer so let's see uh, it would not support DirectX 10.1 and it will not support shader models 4.12 so the new technology that ATI come came up is still be uh, on top so and this is the actual uh, core. It does look a little strange. You can see those uh, four red areas in corners. Uh, if you saw G92 chip, it does look a little different than this one. And uh, some more information about this stuff. Uh, the new, uh, I guess, GT200 chip would have uh, 1.4 billion transistors and uh, 240 stream processors which is nice I like the stream processors there would be a lot of them far as I told you it would be 512 bit memory that would push some ridiculous amount of gigabytes per second 
and of course it would have a uh, one gigabyte of memory so how fast is this I, I saw a few tests on that few benchmarks and um, far as people say that they had no problems running crisis and full at 19 something by 19 something which is like a 24 inch monitor uh, on full high very high and they get like uh, 34 frames which is very nice so it's it's playable no problem crisis because the fact that it faster twice than 9800 GX2 and also there is a point one guy said that um, he has some information from Chinese um, areas Chinese sources those Chinese are just probably sell it right there now uh, he said that um, the card power consumption is ridiculous because the new core is so powerful that it would require 40 amps on plus 12 rail on your power supply and to compare uh, 8800 GT was requiring uh, 24 to 26 amps it's like twice more and uh, almost twice more uh, on my 680 power supply I have only 58 amps so I, I won't probably able to run of one of those because uh, the power consumption is ridiculous let's see how many uh, it probably would require two 8 pin PCI Express connectors so be ready and I would um, sit here in this cave fry myself because of that it's freaking hot here and wait for that shit to come up